Throw away time. What's your secret that could literally ruin your life if it came out? Two and a half years ago I was in dire financial straits, so I sold my home to keep my struggling business afloat. I neglected to tell the owners that they have an 800 square feet bunker on the property that I built about seven years ago. The bunker that I've called home since I sold it. The entrance to it is well hidden, but I still come and go very early very late in the day. I'm a single man who keeps to himself. I'm now in a situation where I could move somewhere else, but I love this hidden paradise so much. I speak two languages, so every time I received a new essay, I would browse the topic in my own language and translate the text word by word to English, then submitted it. No one ever caught me for plagiarism before. I cut off all contact with everyone I know and moved to Kenya, I tell people a fake name and a fake background and have made it appear to my family that I died on boat trip in the Pacific. No I am not joking. I am dead in the United States. I once helped out my female friend's family by taking care of their cat for a week. Every day for a week, I would go over there and snoop around their house. I found my friend's diary and proceeded to read the entire thing. I used this information to get her to like me, and she is currently my wife. This is literally the juiciest secret in this thread for some reason. Not totally bland, but not overly obscene. Probably because this is something I could actually picture any person doing if given the chance. I faked the last two years of college education. My parents put so much pressure on me I couldn't handle it, I was suffering from severe depression and anxiety, so I faked it all. Lied to everyone. Made up fake transcripts. I just got my foot in the door in my desired field thanks to a friend, as they hired me as a subordinate. This place only hires college grads, but no one double-checked my credentials since I was recommended. My hope is that if I need to find another job, I'll have been at this place long enough to get it by experience alone, I work for a very prestigious company. I'm not bad at my job. I'm actually quite good. But my fear is eventually I'll hit a wall and the lie will come to light. No one has known this for the better part of a decade. It's a relief to finally say it out loud. I can't even tell those I love. My silence is my prison. When I was 17 I had an argument with my father and told him to fuck off, later that evening he hung himself. Our argument was the last time he spoke to anyone in our family, and for that I feel a terrible amount of guilt for. Instead of him saying goodbye and I love you to my mom and brothers, he got told to fuck off before he went and killed himself. My punishment is to live the rest of my days in shame and guilt. He never left a note either. Everyone thinks I have a good job and roommates, but I've been homeless and a prostitute for over a year. IT guy here, it's amazing what people will do on their computers and say in their emails, despite having to sign a waiver, that all computer activity at work is monitored and recorded. I have half the company's banking, social media and personal email account info and passwords. I know who is secretly banging who at the office behind their spouse's backs. I know who is cybering at work and jerking it in the bathroom almost daily. At least they tell their sex chat partner they're running off to the bathroom to jerk it, haven't felt the need to check the validity of that one. I know when people are having marital problems, financial problems, I even know one person here had their children taken away because a social worker found cocaine in their house. I know who is embezzling money, I know when people get fired for completely bullshit reasons, like they just want to replace them with someone younger and nicer on the eyes, and I know who my boss is buying Xanax and Vicodins from. Basically I have a treasure trove of my coworkers' secrets. I won't actively do anything with this info, but it's nice knowing I have the ammunition there if something were to ever happen. My daughter turns 5 next week. If anyone knew the truth behind her parentage, I could probably lose her forever. I grew up in foster care, never knew my parents or siblings. In my senior year, I met an older guy and we dated for almost a year. Getting pregnant about 7 months in. One night while we were watching TV, the subject somehow came around to our real parents, he had been adopted as a young child. Turns out the man I was seeing, the father of my daughter. Is my half-brother. We have the same mother. Our relationship didn't last, and he is not in her life, per his own choices. My daughter is extremely smart, beautiful, and well-rounded. She'll never know the truth. Her father and I made a pact to never tell her. I just hope she never needs a kidney or something. Edit. Keep reading about people who knowingly slept with relatives they grew up with. Is it bad that I feel slightly less horrible? I accidentally killed seven people. I put a rag into a new water heater exhaust to keep debris out and installed it in a rental. 
I get a call a week later, there's been an accident. I show up and there's a ton of EM and police. They ask me where the gas shutoff is, and I go down to shut the gas off and see the end of the rag I forgot, sticking out of the top of the heater. Rip the rag out, shut the gas off and head upstairs, only to be told all the tenants were dead. I drink all day now and sleep. It's killing me from the inside every single day, but if I say anything my family is ruined, we have a bunch of rental properties and we'd be shut down. There was a girl who I had a crush on, the moment I saw her on my college campus. She ended up dating a douchebag dude a few weeks later. I happened to end up sitting in a study room with him and a few mutual friends. He talked about how he didn't think she was that attractive and how he liked other girls. I wrote the girl an anonymous email using one of those websites, telling her about the things I heard and how the guy was a dick. She ended up breaking up with him after she found out he was cheating. The girl is now my girlfriend of six months. She has no idea and is sitting across from me in the library. I've never told anyone this before. Edit. We've now been together nine months and are going strong. Edit number two. It's our one year anniversary tomorrow. Edit number three. I've gotten a number of requests for updates over the past few years. We're still together, going three plus years strong, and she's finally moved in with me. Life is great. Edit number four. Still going strong after five years. We've been living together in a big city and life is great. We've found things we're both really passionate about and can finish each other's sentences. I've always been a big believer of the just do it mindset, and this whole story is proof of it. Edit number 5. Still getting occasional PMs as of early 2019. Happy to say we are still together, seven and a half years later. We're living together in a big city, and there's probably a proposal in the cards sometime soon. You never know where a simple email may take you. I hate all of my friends. Literally. I don't have anything in common with any of them, and don't care. But I'm too scared to be alone and have no one else to go to, so I keep hanging around with them. I have been pretending to be colorblind to everyone I have ever known, including my own parents since I was in third grade. I am now 28 years old. I even convinced an optometrist of it. When I was 13 I caught my father in bed with my 15-year-old brother's girlfriend, also 15. I haven't seen her since, but I've been blackmailing my father with it for the last six years. My grade 6 teacher let me touch her boobs once. After graduating from high school, I went to a small out-of-state college where no one from high school knew me. I was told many times how impressive my false Australian accent was, so I decided it would be great fun to go through college pretending to be from Australia. All of my friends and even my girlfriend of two years think I'm Australian. I have a completely fake Australian identity, family, and past. I will soon be graduating, and I plan on asking the girl to marry me. Everything she knows about me is Australian, I don't know how to tell her she doesn't really know me. Guess I'm forever a bloke. Hate to break it to you, but you won't be marrying that girl, unless it turns out she's actually from Australia, and has been pretending to be American for two years. My great uncle Jack used to live with my family. One day, he got drunk and had a bad fall that ended up causing him to bleed out, I ended up finding him, I was 14 at the time, and had never seen such an awful sight, and lost consciousness due to all the blood. When I eventually recovered, I called the ambulance and stayed with my uncle, he died in the back of the ambulance, holding my hand. No one knows about what happened to me, and if they did they would realize that I'm the reason he's dead. My mom died when I was 17, and when it comes up I use it to garner attention for myself. In reality, I never met her, and she has never meant anything to me other than a name. I feel so empty. My boyfriend and I met at the brothel where I used to work. As a whore. I'm a senior in high school at the moment. In sophomore year, I came out to all my close girlfriends, and am now very very close to all of them. I've slept in the same bed with them, dressed and undressed with them, even took a shower once with one of them. I'm not actually gay and just came out so that I could see them naked. My entire group of friends would completely shun me for life if they ever found out. After my girlfriend who was a DJ dumped me in high school, I started to DJ for the sole purpose of getting back at her. I now play for audiences in the thousands and nobody knows that the reason I do it is because I hate that bitch.